So I'm back here at Famalab for another laser video uh, with the Epilog Fusion laser. Uh, this video is going to be about the rotary attachment and doing uh, cups and round objects. Um, so the first thing uh, we're going to go is basically you're going to come to the machine. It's going to be off, preferably. Um, go ahead and you're going to need to remove the cu cutting grid and how you do that is you just put your hands on the sides pull directly up and then to, there's some, some pins on the perimeter that you have to release or pull up and then you can take it out make sure the uh, laser head is all the way up in the corner sometimes people like to turn the laser off and leave the head somewhere else so if that's the case make sure you turn it on dog it all the way up into the top corner and able to get the grid out. You might also have to lower the focus down to lower the bed to get it, get it out. But anyway, you just pick it up and then you can remove the vector grid, my cutting grid. Let's set it over to the side. And then now you just have the uh, regular bed. Okay, so the rotary tool is down here at the bottom. Um, go ahead and set it onto the bed. Let's come in a little closer here. Okay, so this piece right here is, uh, I only use it if I'm going to use like really thin glasses, like some wine glasses, where the, the end on this side is so light that it won't actually turn from the drive wheel. So these, are, these wheels here are the drive side. That actually turns the glass and then this side here is just idler wheels that just hold the other side up uh, you can push these in to move it back and forth and you can turn this knob here to raise and lower the idle wheels so that you have a flat surface on the top um, so like I said I like to take this off I only use this very rarely uh, like maybe two percent of the time um, and then to remove and put this on, there's this uh, little knob here you can use to tighten it up. The other one is missing, and I've never had a problem with it only having one. So when the machine is off, make sure the machine is off, you'll see that there's two little plugs here on the side, on the right side, and you have two plugs, a four pin and an eight pin. Go ahead and plug those in. <clears throat> and like I said, make sure the machine's off. The other thing, what I've noticed is this machine's a little finicky sometimes, so I like to start the machine with it all the way pulled back, away from the head, because when you turn on the machine, the head will do some stuff that's different than when you don't have it plugged in, and you don't want the head to crash into the rotary tool. Also, don't load the rotary tool with any um, glassware or any like objects before you turn the machine on. Uh, uh, it'll break the glass. So go ahead and at this point you can turn the machine on. Also don't forget to turn the AC down um, to 73. Okay, so it'll start moving the bed down. If the bed is all the way into the top, it'll only go down a little bit. If the bed is below that point to start, it'll go all the way to the bottom. Okay, at this point when the gantry moves forward and goes there, that generally means the setup is almost done. And now we're to the job screen. So now at this point you can move ahead, go ahead and move this all the way up into the front corner. Uh, top front or back left corner I mean. Go ahead and go down to focus. And you can bring the bed back up. So basically you're going to set the uh, drive wheels, so you want to set it all the way up, there's a black piece of uh, nylon or something right here, you want to push the rim of the glass all the way in to there and then you have your idle wheels and then you can turn this knob here so that the top, the top of the glass is straight so when you laser you'll get a nice even um, uh, engraving there and you can use either tape measure on both sides to make sure that they're even 
or you can do the super calibrated eyeball method, which is when you go down here and you close one eye and you get a and you line it up right here with the edge of this, which is what I've been doing and it works fine. So now from this point you're gonna focus it the same way you focus it with the regular three axis non-rotary thing. And you're gonna put the focus tool on. And you're gonna focus up until the last barely just barely touches the bottom. And then you're gonna click in the stick to set the focus. So now the focus is done. And then we're gonna go to jog to set our offset. So the way the offset works on this is where that black piece of plastic is, that is zero. Uh, and then the locks the jog so that you cannot jog on the y-axis at all. You can only jog x. And basically that just means where the farthest up the cup is where it's going to start. Um, that's going to be your home zero. So um, typically on pint glasses and pretty much any drinking glass, I find that 0.8 inches is a really good spot that I use probably most of the time. Um, you can obviously do whatever you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and set it at 0 .8. 0 0.8 inches. Turn the laser pointer on. And with the ruler, or a tape measure I mean, you can go down here, which I don't know if you can see this, but um, you'll, when you put the tape measure on there, you'll be able to see exactly where the red dot is facing. And then when you have your image size, if it's two inches by two inches or whatever, um, you'll just go ahead and measure with the tape measure how far that down that is. And that is gonna be where your image is gonna be. So it's always gonna be um, like the left index from the red dot is gonna be the left side and it's gonna go down. So um, if you have a cup um, or something that you need to load in backwards for some reason because uh, maybe it's like a water bottle and it has like a drinking part which won't go up against that and you have to load it in backwards just remember you're going to be offsetting from the bottom um, if it's on this side but most of the time you're going to be doing like this so all right here we are in Adobe Illustrator um, you can use any imaging uh, software to do this part I just want to go through um, a couple things that will help you out with the laser. Um, control R brings up the rulers which is super helpful for measuring with the tape measure on the actual glass. Um, I just have a two, 2 inch by 2 inch um, FamLab logo here. Now if you're when you're using the rotary tool if you're using it in the regular loading position where the mouth of the cup is on the left side you're gonna need to rotate the image counterclockwise 90 degrees do that by holding the shift button and uh, and moving this um, this way that will um, that will orient the image correctly if you're doing it um, that way otherwise your image will be sideways now I'll take it back to the regular one if you're loading the cup backwards so the tail of the cup is being driven by the dry wheels or if the tail is on the left side is what I mean. You'll need to rotate it um, clockwise and you can hold shift to make sure it locks to that 90 degrees. So we're going to be loading, this cup is obviously loaded this way so we're going to load it like that. Perfect. Okay so um, one of the other problems and if you take the actual 102 class I'll go through all the math for this but um, the drive wheels on this cup, or the, the diameter of the cup where the drive wheels are touching is a lot larger than the center of the, uh, of the pint glass. So you're gonna need to widen this image um, in order for it to be, uh, to, to keep the ratios correct and so it doesn't look squished. Um, you, I'm just gonna do a really quick 10% uh, widening of this uh, you can just go here um, and I'm just going to increase the height I'm going to unlink and increase the height to 2.2 uh, 
gonna make it look skewed on here, but I'll go ahead and center this again. Um, but when it goes on the cup, it'll actually, because it's curved and stuff, and because of the diameter differences, it'll look uh, more symmetrical. Now this is really the crude way of doing it. Um, you can do, I'll show you if in the, like I said in real class, how to do this with precision to actually get the correct results. Um, but, so now you're just gonna go to um, the regular file print. Um, so I, I have a three by three document here. And uh, just go ahead and make sure you change these three by three. Um, but on glass, um, I use a 60, 100 on the raster. Uh, I like to do bottom up. I don't know why. I just well, I, I'm used to it from the wood. I just like to do bottom up. Um, dithering standard. You can change this if you have a photo, but I just standard's fine. Um, we're not going to do vectoring, so I'm just going to turn that off. And then on center engraving, so 600 DPI also I like to use. Um, on this, I like to do um, left center. And what that means is that red dot right here, this X, that's where your red laser is uh, set up right now. That means it'll turn the cup 50% backwards, start lasering, and then continue past the red mark and go to the other half. So if you have a cup with a handle on it, you're definitely going to use, use this method. If you just if you turn this off, what's going to happen is it's going to rotate the cup all the way back, start rastering, and then do the whole raster, and then end up where it indexed. So if you have a handle, it'll, it'll either hit the bottom or it'll hit the laser head. So left center is what I like to use when using the rotary tool. So we're going to click OK, print. Obviously this is wrong, so we're going to click setup, print again, now it's correct. Zero zeros here means we're all good. We're going to hit print. Alright, now we're going to be ready to go. Remember, if you haven't already turned the uh, temperature down to 73, make sure it's set. Um, go ahead and turn on the air assist and the uh, fan, and then we're going to hit start. Remember, it's going to be job one, uh, because you probably haven't laser anything, and you just turned it off and on. Um, it'll tell you the time. It should be like around three minutes, and, and then you'll be good to go. So let's get started. Now there is one other thing that you can do. If you push start when the lid is still up, it will not actually engage the laser beam, but it will move the head. So if you're not sure if like the handle is going to touch the bottom, you have a handle, or if you're not sure it's in totally the right spot, you can leave the laser pointer on, start the job with the hood up, and you can see if it's in the right spot. We're not going to do that because we like to live dangerously. So let's see what we got here. There we go, we got a nice Famalab logo, um, pretty good dimensions. Now if I wouldn't have stretched it, it would have looked something like this. This is actually supposed to be a circle, but if you look how it's squished, that's because it didn't get stretched. So that was a 10% stretch, pretty good. Pretty good uh, location on the cup, and you don't want to get too high because then when you're drinking out of the glass, you have a little bit of a roughness on your lip, so you got to make sure you bring it down enough. Overall, I think it uh, turned out pretty good. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, if this helped you out, please uh, throw me a like and a subscribe. Um, there will be more of these videos hopefully coming out, depending on how much engagement you guys give. So, uh, thanks for checking this video out, and we'll see you in the next one, and maybe at a Laser 1 or 2 class coming up here at Bamba Lab.